And let's start off our tour back over at Station 2. Gonna do what I do every single time and grab some coffee and get this day going. <laughs> Go start the day. Okay, so first things in the morning, the engineer, Zach, is outside. He is checking off the engine. So right now I'm gonna knock out a letter and we'll go outside and go see, uh, see how the trucks are doing, making sure everything's there, making sure everything is good to go. Zach, how's the trucks look? So we are done checking off the engine. That is finished, complete, Toto done. And now it's time to grab my gear and head over to station one. Ladies. Where are they at? What's that? Where are they? Hey! Oh, hello. Hey, look who it is. Tammy? How are you doing? Good. Where's your, where's your crew? Oh. oh, they're in the captain's office. Hey, hey, I found them. What are you doing? Updating cars. Why do I have so much freaking paperwork today? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Reported like a fire at the route between the south and on Highway 35. Have a vehicle on fire in the parking lot. Woo! Vehicle on fire. The engine two is clear. Vehicle fire. Into the black. First car fire there, Zach. Oh, it was good. I didn't get the fight fire, but I got to pump the trucks. Huh? Yeah. Zach, where's your gloves? David, do you know where his gloves are? I don't know. Ooh. Somebody forgot their gloves. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Cap. Got to fill the truck, get a new hose on the truck, get the truck back in service. So that's what we're about to do. Train on brush? We're going to train on brush. Let's train on brush. So they are training on the brush truck. Basically that's the truck just like over at Station 2 that we showed y'all earlier. That is the truck that we're going to take on wildland fires, out on grass fires. So we are done with training, done with filling the truck back up, everything is good to go. We are headed back over to station two now, and then uh, here in a couple hours we gotta go do some medic CE training. And we're back over to station two, like always, our house. So we're gonna wrap up, clean the station a little bit, and then uh, head out to EMS training, medic, medic CEs. We'll see that in just a bit. Oh 
Okay, so we just got done with our EMS medical training. As y'all saw, that was us doing um, CPR. Uh, actually, we're learning a new skill of these new devices in our county, which are the Lucas devices. So that is it for day one. But like y'all already know, we got day two coming at you right now. Good morning, good, good morning. It is day two of our 48 hour tour. Just like y'all know, we do work 48 hours. Woke up, had some coffee, actually had a call early, early this morning, a uh, minor uh, wreck out at Walmart. Now we're gonna start our day off by having some more coffee, getting some, getting some breakfast in our tummies, and uh, then we're gonna head over to station Station one and see what the guys are doing over there and uh, get some stuff done. So let's do it. It is gross out. What in the world? I was planning on doing like training and all kinds of crap, but earlier this morning it was not like this. And now it's just, blah. Oh. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm training, hopefully. We'll figure it out, I guess. Let's go start our day. So we are back over at station one. We uh, got here a little bit ago, actually. I, I didn't record because it was just a real blah morning. The weather, once again, is just disgusting. We did do a little bit of training, but now we are gonna sit down and, and have ourselves some, some delicious sandwiches and wraps and food and, and uh, fill our systems up. Food. Food. What did you get? <laughs> Don't use you. The sandwich. Nice. <laughs> David, you like spaghetti? I'm wearing my shirt. Tame, is your food settled yet? Yes, sir. Bunker drill. <laughs> As y'all just saw, we are now done with lunch and uh, we are gonna start training, gonna do a little bit more buddy breathing rescue operations again. We'll kind of breeze through that uh, for the video because y'all have already seen that before. Tammy here is about to rescue another victim. David loves airbags because they've blown up on him before. Right, David? Hey, nobody wants to talk about that. <laughs> so now he is airing up the airbag. So essentially, you could use this to raise pretty much anything. So we've also got high pressure bag, which basically lifts like almost 20 times that amount. Right. So we're good under here, crew is ready to go. High pressure set. We turn this bottle on. Air moving through here, going into that regulator. From that regulator, it's gonna go through that hose and it's gonna come up into that bag. That bag's gonna raise up and lift the back of this truck up. All right, so push that button. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, so our training got interrupted with a car fire. Luckily, it wasn't actually a legitimate car fire. We um, responded, nothing was actually on fire, 
no hazards. But it, it was kind of funny because the people were from Canada, Quebec actually, and they were just down traveling and they spoke no English. So the only way I could communicate with them was via Google Translate. Google Translate came in clutch, that worked good. And now we are pretty much done for the day and that's about it for the tour. So guys, thanks again for watching. It's been a blast. I love creating these videos. I'm gonna keep making them. So y'all subscribe, y'all like this channel. I mean, no, other way. Y'all subscribe to this channel and like this video and let's, let's keep on rolling.